you going to for? I'm going to ask you a question. You said, you said all souls are mine, right? Yes, right. It's in the Bible. Ezekiel 18, 4. We're going to read it. You quoted it. We're going to read it, okay? Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4. So, brother, Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4. Read. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The soul what? The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The, the soul that does what? That sinneth, it shall die. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. What is sin? What is sin? That's not my point. What's, What's your point? point? All souls. All souls are here. So what what's your point? Who said that? The source of the white, those of the God, the source of the black, the God that is not in this. That's my point. That's your point? Also, are mine. Did you say are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna stand here and listen to the answer? Are you gonna stand here and listen to the answer? I read that read that one more time. Read that one. I'm not talking about sin. You done talking about sin? Oh I'm, well, see that's, I, your, I, that's I, your point. That's a whole scripture. Read I, it here for I, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 4. Read. Behold, all souls are mine. So the Bible says all souls are God. That's the question this brother has. But we're gonna to listen to the rest of the scripture. Read it from the top again. Behold, all souls are mine. So God says all souls are his. What this brother quoted. But let's li listen to see what else it says. Read on. As the soul of the Father. As the soul of the Father, read. So also the soul of the Son is mine. Read on. The soul that sinneth. The soul that does what? Says all the souls are his. The souls that sinneth is what? It shall die. It shall die. Give me first John 3 and 4. No, no, no. Let me see. First John 3 and 4. The book of first John chapter 3 and verse 4. Well, it says all souls is his. The souls that actually sinneth, they shall die. Read on. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever does what? Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever does what? Whosoever committed sin. So the souls that actually sin shall die. Whosoever committed sin does is what? Transgressive also the law. Transgressive what? Also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the sin is the breaking of God's laws. Give me Psalm 785. So who was the law given to? Since read all on. souls is God's and stuff like that, like this brother says, read on. The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. Read. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Read on. And appointed a law in Israel. He appointed a what? Law in what? Appointed a law in Israel. So the law is the law belongs to Israel. Is that it? Which he commanded our fathers. He commanded our fathers, read. That they should make them known unto their children. That we should make the laws known unto their children. Why? So we do not sin. Since all souls are God's, we shall not sin. Give me Proverbs 19 and 16. Yeah. You trying to say all souls are God, now you want to worry about the white man. He said the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Hey, brother, you got a question? Come on over here. God doesn't, oh. God doesn't care for the white man. Is that what you're telling me? When he says all souls are you want, you want us to read it? No, so God doesn't Do you want us to read it? So God we don't read what the Bible says. So we don't read what the Bible says. Read on. So 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 he that keepeth the commandment, keepeth his own soul. Read that again. He that keepeth the commandment, keepeth his own soul. Read it one more time for the simpleton. Read it again. He that keepeth the commandment, keepeth his own soul. God said, since all souls are his, he that keepeth God's commandment, meaning his laws, does what? Keep it his own soul. He keep it his own soul. That's what Ezekiel 18.4 is all about. Do you understand that? Do you understand it? Can I talk? Do you understand what I just said? Do you understand what the Bible just said? Do you understand what I mean? You no, understand. you don't understand what you mean. I just explained to you what Ezekiel 18.4 said. Do you understand what I mean? What I mean is that the soul of the black, the white, the So green, you're not the understanding then. You're not understanding so you know then. Go back to Ezekiel 18 and 4. You are playing games. Go back to Ezekiel 18 and 4. Give me some of them I'm going to show you why you do not understand the, the Bible. Yellow, I'm going to show you why you don't understand. Well, keep it moving then. It don't matter to us. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. What? Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So God says the fear of him is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. What this brother don't understand, 
precept must be upon precept. He lacks wisdom. Read it from the top again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read on. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. A good understanding of this Bible. What? Read. Have all made do his commandments. You have to be keeping the commandments to get a good understanding. When we read That's Ezekiel right. 18 and 4, it says if you keep your soul, you got to keep God's commandments. If you want wisdom, you have to keep God's commandments. I do. Okay then, that's what we're saying. My point, which you are trying to deviate. Oh, so what's your, do you understand what we just went over in the scripture? You have not told me something I don't know. My do you understand, before before I go any further, before I go any further, do you understand what we just read? Young man. Yes or no? I do. Okay, I now go ahead, go ahead. I now, 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 now I'm going to, now go ahead. Now you got the floor. Yes. My point is, the God I serve is not a racist. It's not? A racist. It's God I serve. Listen, that Bible says all souls. What do you mean about souls? Souls that they care about color. Brother, did you just understand what we just read in Ezekiel 18 for what you just quoted? You just said yes. Now you're going back. That's what a double mind is. Let's go back to Ezekiel 18 and 4. Ezekiel, the brother is quoting Ezekiel 18 and 4. He didn't know where it was at, but we got it for him. God says all souls are his, but what he don't understand is you have to read the whole scripture to get the, the understanding of what the Bible is saying. Read it again for him. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 4. Read. Behold, all souls are mine. So God says all souls are mine. That's where the brother stopped at, but we're going to continue on with the same scripture. Read on. As the soul of the Father. Read. So also the soul of the Son is mine. Read on. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So God says, since all souls are mine, that soul that sitteth, it shall die. So we know according to 1 John 3 and 4, sin is the breaking of God's laws. We just read that. So according to the law, who was given the law? Psalm 78 and 5 says, the Israelites, which are today the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians Rubbish. are the Israelites. Rubbish. Luke 1, 68, he said God is not a racist. He said God is not a racist. Brother, you at the bottom of society. You, God said you at the bottom of society and you don't even know who the hell you are. Read that real quick. Let me hear God is a racist. Read. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Read on. Let's be the Lord God of Israel. The God of who? The God of Israel. Did you know this is the God of Israel in this Bible? Did you know that? Read it again for the brother. This is the New Testament. I know you're a New Testament Christian. Read it again. Let's be the Lord God of Israel. What you don't realize is that you've been reading this Bible all your life, and according to Luke 1 68, this is the God of Israel you've been reading about. Read on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. No, all people. His people. So he had visited and redeemed who? His people. No, he's all souls. His people. All souls that sent him is his people. Read on. And have raised up and horn of salvation for us. So who's the horn of salvation? That's Christ. Read on. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Read on. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. The holy prophets in the Old Testament, it was all Israelites. Read on. Which have been since the world began. Read. That we shall be saved from our enemies. That we shall what? That we shall be saved from our enemies. Did it say everybody? That we shall be saved from our enemies. So brother, you have enemies. Your enemy taught you that God loves everybody. The Bible don't say that. God does not love everybody. Give me Romans 9 and 13. What does God John 3 16 say? You want John 3? You want John 3:16? We are gonna give you John 3:16. Give me John 3:16 real quick. Hallelujah! I knew we had a Christian up in here. That's the only scripture you can quote, and it don't even mean that. We gonna see. We gonna see. I'm gonna also come back up. All right, so get that in John. First off, what John 3:14 say? I know it. We are gonna get John 3:16, but what 14 say? What verse 14 say? I guarantee you, you don't know what 14 say. Bring it out. But you jump straight to 16 with the almighty understanding, huh? Bring it out. No, you don't have an understanding. You have to be keeping God's commandments. But we're going to get your scripture, and we're going to bring it out the correct way. Get John 3.16. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. For God so loved the world. So now we're supposed to stop because it said God so loved the world. But what world did God love? Who did God love? The world. Okay, read on. 
for God so loved the world. Make sure you stay here for your answer now. Don't go on now. Make sure you stay for your answer. Because you so caught up in loving everybody but yourself. Read. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. Right. That whosoever believeth in uh -huh. him shall not perish. So everybody is included to you in that right there. Yeah. Now jump up to verse 1. Yeah. Verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees. The man of the what? The man. There was a man of the Pharisees. The man of the Pharisees, read. Named Nicodemus. Named Nicodemus, read. A ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? The, a ruler of the Jews. So this was a conversation between two Jews. Yes, first, and, first and foremost. Yes, read on. The same came to Jesus by night uh -huh. and said unto him. So this was a, a conversation between a ruler of the Jews, which was a Jew, and Jesus Christ, who was a Jew. Yes. So jump to 14. Verse 14. Come on. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So it says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Yes. Who Moses lifted the serpent up to in the wilderness? Who was in the wilderness with Moses? Was the world with Moses in the wilderness? Huh? Who, who did Moses lift his serpent up into the wilderness? Give me that in numbers. The who? The Israelites. So why is Moses lifting up his serpent to the Israelites and is giving detailed situation to the Israelites and Moses and then now you jump to 16 and think he's talking about everybody. That's right. Come on, you got to, you got to understand better than that. Read numbers. We're going to get the history for you. We, he, give, me, give me a hold on that. Give me Matthew 15, 24. We're going to get to who Jesus Christ came for. Listen, listen. You said, who did Jesus Christ come for, right? Now we're going to get the scripture and let the scripture bring out who he came for. Read that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Come on. What he answered and said. But he answered and said, what did he say? I am not sent. I am not sent. Read. But unto the lost sheep. Only to the lost sheep of who? Of the house of Israel. Oh, no, no, no. Neither is there anyone, and I was so loathed in this light way. Come on. And the Lord sent fiery serpents. And the Lord sent what? Fiery serpents. He sent fiery serpents amongst the Israelites, and the Israelites only read. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. Uh huh. And much people of Israel died. And much people of Israel died because guess what? They get, they went against the word of God. Read. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said. We have sinned. We have what? We have sinned. And that's what the Negro man is constipated on. They concentrated on being inclusive with everybody. God love everybody. But when you gonna start talking about your sin? When you gonna sit down and say, I'm gonna examine myself because I wanna be right with God. Much rather than worried about another nation that can give what sin about you. They rape, rob, enslave our whole nation. And here you is in 2019, worried about another nation that don't give a crap about you. We. We have spoken against the Lord. Say what? For we have spoken against the Lord. Because they spoke against the Lord. Read. And against thee. Come on. Pray unto the Lord. Read. Then he take away the serpents from us. Take away the serpents from us. Read. And Moses prayed for the people. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto Moses. Skip down to verse 9. Verse 9. And Moses made a serpent of brass. He made a serpent of brass. That same symbol that you see on the ambulance with the snake wrapped around it. This is where they get that from. Everything that uh, about this world is built off on us being in sin. Hey. And Moses made a serpent of brass uh -huh. and put it up on a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had been bitten, any man, when he had when he beheld the serpent uh -huh. of brass, he lived. He lived. The Israelites lived. So the Most High was dealing with Israel only. Now give me John. Go back to John 3.16. Give me Hebrews 11 and 1. Pick it up. Give me Hebrews 11 and 1. To show you that it's more than one world. That's right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. You got to know. The book, of, the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. No, no. Romans. Romans 11 and 1. Give me Romans 11 and 1, because there is more than one world in the Bible. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. God, who has some dry times, and in diverse manner, spake in time past unto the Father. Hey, are you going to listen to the scriptures? Read. Spake unto the fathers by the prophet. 
held in these last days uh -huh. unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Three. By whom also he he made the world. He made the what? He made the world. He made the what? He made the world. He made the worlds. So what world is he speaking to in, in the book of John? Now we own John 3.16. That's what we own. That's what you're talking about. Because you want to say the white man. You ain't say nothing about the East Indian. You ain't say nothing about the Arab. You ain't say nothing about none of those people. You concerned with your oppressor. That's who you love. Your oppressor, my oppressor, our oppressor, the 12 tribes of Israel oppressor. Read that. The book of Hebrews, you have the world. Go, go back to John. Go back to John. Now we're going to get you the world. Give me John 18. Give me John 18, the world for the brother. The book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Read. Read. Jesus answered him. I spake openly Listen, to the world. He spake openly to what? I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. God so loved the world. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort. Whether the what? Whether the Jews always resort. Oh, no, you want to run when the house to come out. You want to run when the answer come out. That's no, right. don't run when God's words speak. That's right. Don't run. Don't run when you get your answer. Because he said, I spoke openly to the world whether the Jews reside. Yes. Give me Isaiah 45, 17. Yes. That's the word. He considered these 12 tribes of Israel a world. A world without end. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Listen up. But Israel shall be saved in but the Lord. But who shall be saved in the Lord? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Now everybody can be saved. The white man can be saved. He ain't Israel. No, it says Israel. Did you see the brother? I said the white man can be saved. The brother said, ah, ah. My slave master. You can, you can tell how destroyed you are as a person. Because you want salvation with the same people that bring these atrocities, that brought these atrocities on our people, right. and shooting us down in the street, read on. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. Come on. Ye shall not be ashamed, read. nor confounded world without it. What did he call him? Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded world without it. What is Israel to God? Nor confounded world without it. Israel is the John 3.16 world. That yes, God so right. loved. Yes, he didn't love everybody. Give me that in Romans 9. Give me that in Romans 9. Give me that in Romans 9. No, no. You, you, you know what? You love your oppressor. Give me that Romans 9. The book of Romans chapter Start with verse 3. Listen. Now listen, listen real quick. Listen, listen real quick. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Hey, you hate the word of God. That's why you walking out. Read. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brother. Come on. My kids, according to the flesh. Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? The so-called white man is not an Israelite. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel. The, the Israelites the Bible speak of. Read. Yeah. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God. So all these things belong to Israel. The adoption, the service of God, the laws, everything belongs and pertains to Israel. Read. And the promises. And the promises. All the promises that you read about in the Bible, God promised that to the Israelites and the Israelites only. Read. Right. Who's are the fathers? Who are the fathers? Because Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we come from that descendant of the line. That, that heritage is real. And of whom that's concerning the flesh, Christ came. So God came for those people. Yes, right. The Israelites, read. Who is over all? Uh -huh. God blessed forever. Amen. Keep reading. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect. Come on. For they are not all Israel. So everybody that look like us ain't all Israel. Read. Which are of Israel. So they, they are of Israel, but guess what? The Most High know his children. Read. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham. Because they are the seed of Abraham, because we all came from Adam. We all came from Abraham. But guess what? They are not the chosen seed that the Most High God chose. Read. 
neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Read. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So Isaac, in his seed, the Most High chose Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Yes, and right. his 12 sons regenerated God's chosen seed. Not the so-called white man. The yeah. mother Lord, give me that in um, Isaiah 40 and 17. This is what God said about all other nations. This is what God say, and go back to um, Romans 9 and 13 out there. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. Come on. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations are what? Are as nothing. Hey. Hey, the, the, the brother that was on here just a minute ago, listen to what the, the most I say about the so-called white man. Read. All nations before him are as nothing. He said that nation of people that I created is nothing. Read. And they are counted to him less than nothing. And he said the so-called white man is less than nothing. Now give me that in Romans 9 and 13. He going to tell you how he feel about it. Yeah, God don't love everybody. You was taught that lie in your church. The church have been lying to us since we since the church was um was basically brought up from the Roman Catholic. That's right. How you gonna how you gonna expect for the, the so-called the people that, that rape, rob, and enslave you to tell you the truth about this Bible? But you come up against your brothers that look like you. Read. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Yeah, come back across the screen if you're ready to listen. Because we casting down all foolishness. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. Read. But Esau have I hated. It says what? But Esau have I hated. So if God said he hated Esau, how can you get God so loved the world out of that? Right. God don't love everybody. Bring it out, huh? I like that can picture too. Yeah, you can take all the pictures you want. Read. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Come on. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So what happened to God loving everybody if he hate Esau? I thought God don't hate. I thought God loved all souls. I thought God loved the entire world. No, God don't. I don't know what God you believe in, but we believe in a God of Israel. And they don't teach you that in your churches. So switch over. First off, why you over here, brother? You concerned about everybody being inclusive. Do you know your nationality? Hey, ask me who that is, officer. Who is this right here? Who is this guy right here? This guy. Who is that guy? It can never be Jesus. That's your God, huh? He can never be Jesus. Say what? He can never be Jesus. He can never be Jesus. So how does Jesus look? Jesus is from Middle East. So it will look like a Middle Easterner. So how do a Middle Eastern look? What is a Middle Eastern um, appearance? What do they look like? They have black hair like you. They have black hair like me. What else? They have olive skin. Uh-huh. Olive skin. So you said they got olive skin. What color is olive? And they have brown eyes. So do Jesus look like this guy or this guy? He doesn't look like this guy. So he don't look like this guy. Let's get the image. Because that's what, that's a, see, it's always, when a person has a problem, it's always some deeper than what it seems like on the surface. His problem, his problem stems from him not knowing the appearance, the Jesus true appearance more like of how Jesus looks Jesus like. Looks more like this. Because if he knew the creator of oh, like him, Jesus looks more, like more like this color. He come for everybody. Give me Revelation 1.14. Chapter 1. Give me 1 and 1 first. Chapter 1 and verse 1. So now I know your problem. Your problem ain't you just want to save the white people. Your problem is you don't know that the Christ of the Bible identify with how you look, brother. That's self-hatred. That's self-hatred. Hey, what you suffering from, what you suffering from was taught to us in slavery. That's the problem that you have. Who is that? Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing. The word revelation shorts for reveal, to reveal. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Meaning we re we revealing how Christ looked. Read. Which God gave unto him. Uh -huh. To show unto his servants. To do what? To show unto his servants. To show. In order for you to show something, there has to be an image that you see visually. 
Read 13. Go to 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Do this sign have seven candlesticks on it? But this sign do. This sign has seven candlesticks on it. Cause, cause, cause guess what? No, 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 no. We going to what the scripture's saying. We giving the depiction of the scriptures. Read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And what was in the midst of it? One right unto the son of man. The son of man was in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Read. Clothed with a garment. Clothed with a what? Clothed with a garment. So he was clothed with a garment, the same thing that I'm wearing. This is a oh. garment. So if I have on a garment, in order for me to wear a garment, what's in this what garment? Is, what is this? What is in this garment? What is this one? It's a body. A body. Is a garment? A, that's not a garment. What is it? This is a garment. How do you Those define it? Clothes. How do you define it? Clothes with a down to the foot. Come on. And a jerk about the pouch with a golden goat. Come on. And his head and his hair. His head and his hair. His head and his hair. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Were white like what? Were white like wool. So the texture of his hair was woolly. Read. As white as snow. As we see it today, we call it gray hairs. But that, that was because the wisdom was bestowed upon him. He had great wisdom. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. No, his feet like unto what? And his feet like unto fine bread. No, olive. Like unto fine bread. What color is brass? What color is brass with a B? Brass. That's a derivative of brown. That's right. Read. As if they burned in they burned. As if they what? As if they burned in they burned. So this is a black man that the Bible is giving descriptions of. Oh, that's oh, it. Right. Picture right here identify that Christ looked like us. That's right. We are the people of this book. This is our book. Yeah. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet like the two fine birds as if they burned and they burned. Read. And his voice is the sound of many walls. Because he had a loud voice. He spoke with authority. Like I'm speaking right now. That's right. So the, the, the Christ of this Bible look like you. And you think. Just think of the ways of how they do all people. The so-called white man. They do us bad. So right now, 2019, if Christ of the Bible walked the earth, he'll be called a dang old nigga. Just like they look at you. They look at all of us the same. So guess what? You ain't going to overcome their decision of how much hatred that they have for us. So you should hate them. It's done. So you should hate them. What scripture tell us to hate them? What scripture tell us to hate them? What scripture tell us to hate them? Find it in the Bible where the scripture give us a law that says we're supposed to hate them. So you won't find it. So Don't nobody them. out here hate the other nations. Because we know God, the God of the Bible, has this form. We Revelation 13. First, who said they hate? We don't hate them. Guess what? God said, listen, God, listen, listen. God said that they are less, they are less than nothing. We are too important for us to love them. We are too important for us to hate them. Do you love them? Listen, listen what the Bible says. Do you love them? Tell me a scripture where it says we have to love them. Either or. Give me a scripture that says we gotta hate them, and give me a scripture that give them a Bible. Give us a scripture. Give us a scripture that says we have to love them or we have to hate them. Other than that, shut your mouth, man, and listen to the word of God. We go. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Come on. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, you got a smartphone, don't you? Don't you got a smartphone? If you got a smartphone, pull up the Bible out. You ain't got a bar now with a bar Bible. We read the word of God and we live the word of God. And that's the reason why you unlearn, you don't even have a Bible. You believe in the Bible, but you don't have a Bible. We got the word of God everywhere with us. Read. Verse 10. He that lead it into captivity. He that lead it into captivity. Because the so-called white man led us into captivity. Don't come over here with that nonsense. Yeah, go over there and talk about it. Read. Shall go into captivity. So that's, that, hey, that's, that's what the white man, the so-called white man gonna get. Read it again. He that lead it. Hey, get this sister fly. Read. He that lead it into captivity. So the nations that led us into captivity. 
Breathe. Self go into captivity. That's gonna be the end. That's why we don't have to hate them. Because guess what? They're gonna be all slaves. That's right. That says the word of God. They gonna